The next one is actually a new story for us, and I'm changing, we change it to a Babi Yaga story because it makes so much more sense. The Babi Yaga story. There was once a village. Down the end of the village, there was a very great house. And in that house was a very gallant sort of a chap. They called him Galahad Galavant, and he was quite the wonder of the neighbour. Oh, so Galavant has gone by again. Oh, oh, he lived down in the middle of this hovel. Oh, and in the middle of this hovel there lived two sisters. And they were forever looking at him thinking. Oh, it's, it's him again. Oh, so Galahad Galavant, nice. Oh, well, never mind. Now, they all worked hard, and their parents had three jobs. Each? Each. But times were very, very hard. And so it was the parents came to their daughters and said, I'm afraid, as try as we might, they've just imposed a property tax and we can't afford to feed all of them. Oh. One of you is going to have to go and find your fortune. Well, I'm the eldest. I'll go, parents. I've been thinking I ought to go and make my own fortune and weigh in the world soon anyway, so I'll be up. And so the elder sister went, determined to become a fine, fine maid. I don't want to be in poverty ever again. No. And so she went away she'd never gone before and went for seven hours. And at the end of seven hours, she found a green, green field. And in the middle of that green, green field, there was a most immense oven. Oh, that's odd, isn't it? An oven in a field? And she looked at the oven and it was full of pastries Ooh. in the shape of coffins. Oh, they're grim now. Huh? And the oven turned to her and said, Baking for seven years. Oh, I am. No, no, I am very sorry. I, I might burn my fingers. I'm, I'm going to be a fine maid somewhere and, and make my way in the world. I'm sorry. I, I must go. I, I've got my fortune to make. Goodbye. And off she went for seven days. And at the end of the seven days, in a green, green field, she found a cow. Oh. And the cow turned to her and said, so "Huge that cow." I, I, I need milking. I don't suppose you could melt me. There was a pail behind me. Oh, well, I'm talking again. Yeah, well, amazing. Uh, I'm very sorry. I, I don't do that sort of work. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, fine, a fine maid and I'm making my way. Well, I'm so sorry. I've got to go. I need to be up and make my fortune. So off she went for seven months and at the end of seven months there was a great apple tree. And by the apple which was laden with fruit, she had never seen the like. Oh. And next door to it was a very fine house. That looks a likely place. But before she could get to the fine house, the apple tree spoke and said, I haven't been pecked in seven years. Can you pet me? Oh, I, I, I'm so sorry. Your apples look amazing, but it's not the sort of work I do. I'm a fine maid, I do, but I, I'm afraid I've got to go be on my way. But uh, if I find it, I could do that for you. I'll, I'll let them know you're here. Bye. And so she knocked on the door in the fine house, and a little old lordly lady opened it and said, Ah! You look like a fine maid. Oh, I am. I, I don't suppose you know there's any work. You can work for me. Oh, thank you. You can do all my embroidery and look after the house, I'm sure. Oh, splendid. I, I will require you yes? to clean this marble slate. Oh, that's absolutely fine. And to light a fire. Yes, Is I that can. all right? But do not look up the chimney. No, I will not. No, no. So it was the girl settled down. Oh, by the way, yes? at the end of seven years, if you stay that long, I'll pay you more than you're worth. Well, thank you. But I get fed in the meantime. Oh, yes. Oh, so well, And well. Thank you. Oh. And so the girl settled down. She was well fed. And she worked very hard and rather well. But there was one job she hated. Oh, those marble stones. There's something, there's a chill about them. Something wrong with them. I don't like that half that always utterly chilling. And there was something she was very bad at doing. I'm usually able to light a fire and I always could at home, but this just smokes. Smokes and smokes and can't. I can give it. I'll do it! But I can't. The old lady would come and put her out impatiently and light the fire. I'm so sorry, madam. I can keep it when it's going, but. At the end of seven months, the old lady said, I must go. I'm off for a conference of my kind. I'll be gone for seven hours or seven days or seven years, perhaps, as the mood takes me. Look yes. after my hat. Yes, madam, I certainly will do. Follow everything to the letter. And so she settled down. And she thought she would be very happy in the house, where it was full of food. Oh, well, this is alright, isn't it? It's a nice house as well. But somehow, oh. 
That night was cold. It's freezing. Bone cold. God, so Chilling cold. Colder than she ever remembered being. Oh, because it's kind of like this fire. It just won't light. It just won't light. There must be something in the chimney blocking it. If only I could look up. And before she knew quite what she'd done, she looked up the chimney. There's a tail. What? And she tugged the tail, and down came a cascade of gold. Oh, God. In a long tailed bag. In trouble now. I can't put it back up there. She'll know come up there. I suppose I've made my fortune now. I'd better be going. I'd better get out of here. Oh, close. So put the bag over her shoulder and she went out the door. And suddenly, oh, there was no. a cackle behind her. Oh, she's and there. riding, hounding, pounding, drawn by a dragon of chariots, streets of witch, oh, with oh. her face of the old lady on it. Oh, around the eyes of hatred. Oh, apple tree, apple tree, oh, please hide me. Don't let the witch find me, for if she does, she'll pick my bones and bury me under the marble stones. I've just got a bad feeling about this. And the apple tree loaded a branch. Thank you. And, and carried the girl up into it. Well, the witch came up the apple tree and raged and said, Apple tree, apple tree, apple tree of mine. Have you seen a girl with a long tail back? For she's run away with all the eyes. With a lot of what I have ever had. And the apple tree said nothing, but an apple fell down from where the girl was hiding in it. And the witch saw her and put out a long hand and caught her. Now, what happened next? Whether she did bake the girl in a pie and lay her bones under the marble stones, or whether her oven was filled and she just kicked the, girl, the unfortunate girl into the next story. The storyteller doesn't know. But the elder sister disappeared. Back all the way home. The parents had gone from bad to worse. They now had four jobs, but trade deals hadn't come and trade deals hadn't gone, and they were out of, they were so poor they came to the youngest sister and said, I'm afraid you're going to have to go now. Oh, that's all right, parents. I, I, I'm nearly old enough anyway. I, I'll go. I'll make my way in the world. I'm sure it'll be fine. You've taught me how to do a lot. So she bagged up just less than her possessions. <sighs> and off she went on her way. Now, she oh. went somewhere she'd never gone before. For seven hours. <sighs> and at the end of seven hours, there was a green, green field. And in the green, green field... There's an oven. What an odd place, friend. She went up to the oven and the oven said, oh, I don't suppose you could have had eggs in me. Come on, I haven't been edged in seven years. What's all my oven? I never thought of it. Well, of course I can. Of course I can. Let me just uh, put, put the egg cream on my hands. And... She Ooh. pulled out the pastries. Don't eat them. No, I won't. Hungry as I am, I've got that coffee and shake. Pastries really don't appeal. But she then she the oven. I hope you're feeling better. And then she went on her way. Oh. She went now for seven days. And at the end of seven days, there was a cow in the field. Oh, the yeah. cow was totally filled with milk. Poor thing! I don't suppose you can milk. Of course I can. I must be so. There's a pail behind me. Oh, you must be out getting. Oh, let me help you. Oh my and goodness! And she milked the cow. Oh. Have some of the milk to drink yourself. Oh well, if you're sure. I'm, I'm sure. I'm quite hungry and thirsty. And she drank the milk and That's filled her like nothing else ever had. Best milk I've ever had. Thank you so much. Oh. And then off she went on her way, and she went there for seven months. Oh. And at the end of seven months, oh, there was a great apple tree filled with apples. Oh, what a beautiful apple tree! I haven't been picked in seven years. Oh, that's terrible. Well, of course I can. Well, look, I'll, I'll get low, the lowest ones I can reach, and then I'll, I'll shake you as best I can, and I'll climb up to get the rest of them as best I can. Wow, what great selection of apples, all different ages. I'll eat them. Oh, thank you. Well, I will have my fill. Thank you. And They're she ate many of the wonderful apples. Oh. And then she went to the fine house oh, and knocked on it. To see if they might know of any work we're here about. You, said a very angry looking old lady. Oh. You look like a maid of all work. Well, the, yes, I am. I do at most things. Good. I want you to work hard for me. Oh, I can do that, madam. Yes. I want you to polish the marble stones. I'm looking for work around here, so yes, I do that. Yeah. And light the fire, but not look up the chimney. No, I won't do that, madam. Don't do it. I'll feed you while I work for me for seven decades. Ooh. And then I'll pay you a little less than you're worth. Is that a deal? Uh, well, I don't suppose I have to stay forever, so 
Well, but yes, for the time being, yes, yes. Thank so it was she started to work for the, the old lady. Yes. And the old lady was a turnip. Oh, the square meal, so good. Oh. Now, I can't get rations there. But at the end of seven days, the old lady turned to her and said, I must go for a great conference of my kind. And I will be gone for seven days, or seven hours, or seven years, perhaps. Ooh. You will stay here and you will work. I don't think you can trick me. No, of course not, Mr. I'll look after the house. So it was, she stayed looking after the house. Oh. But once again, that night was bone and cold, oh. chilly and cold, rimy cold, so she could not bear. Aye, those marble stones are really grim as well. Something really wrong with them, but I'm trying. I like this fire, there must be something blocking the chimney, but I don't know what it is, but I just can't see it. Oh. Suddenly she found herself looking up the chimney. Oh my goodness. And as she did, oh, there was a, a fall of soot. Oh no! Gold everywhere! Oh crumbs! Well, try and bag that up again and shove it back up. Oh no, another one! Oh my goodness! Well, I'll try and shove them both back up there then, put all the coins back in. Oh no, another one! Oh. Three long tail bags have fallen down the chimney. This really is not working. So much trouble, and if as I think, I mean, so suspicious, they'd be like, she must be a witch. I get gold, but well, I'm not gonna get paid now, am I? I better take him with me. Oh, so no. she took all the gold in the bag, oh. and out she went, and there, pounding, pounding, riding on a chariot oh. drawn by dragons, was Baba Yaga herself, oh, cool. screaming in fury. Oh, and round the corner, and, oh, apple tree, apple tree, oh, please hide me, for if the old witch finds me, she'll pick my bones and bury me under. And the apple tree lowered a branch. Thank you. And the girl went up into the apple tree. And the witch came up to the apple tree and screamed, Apple tree, apple tree of mine, have you seen a girl with a long tail bag? For she's run away with all I have ever had. And the apple tree said nothing. And there were no apples to fall. So the witch, Baba Yaga, went off frustrated. And the apple and the girl climbed down the tree and it whispered to her, Oh, thank you. Go the quick way. Oh, thank you. Show the quick way. So, she got back to the cow in seven hours. And as she came to the cow, she looked over her left shoulder, and over her left shoulder she saw hounding, pounding, riding in fury came Baba Yaga. Oh no! Oh, oh lovely kind cow, oh please, please hide me, for if the witch finds me, she'll pick my bones and bury me under the marble stone. But be my others. Oh, thank you. I think I'm yonder in. Oh. The girl took the place of the others. When Baba Yaga came up and screamed and said, Cow, cow of mine, have you seen a girl with a long tail bag that she's run away and all I have ever had? The cow moved and said nothing. And Baba Yaga stamped her hand, put in fury and went on the way. And then the cow said, Go the quick way, it'll take you seven minutes. Oh, thank you. And the girl slipped the quick way. And seven minutes later, she was in the field of the oven. Oh. And as she came up to the oven, suddenly, over her left shoulder, hounding, pounding, riding like fury, there was wild man Baba Yaga. Oh, oven, the kind of oven. <coughs> oh, please hide me, for if the witch finds me, she'll pick my bones and bury me under the marble stone. Get behind me. When Baba Yaga came up and screamed at the other, I've heard the other of mine, have you seen a girl with a long tail pack? For she'd run away with all I've ever had. The other said, In me. And Baba Yaga went inside the oven. And with a click, the oven door closed. And with a woof, it lit. And it baked Baba Yaga for seven upon seven years. And the girl oh. took the very quick way home that took seven seconds. And there she was, standing in front of her house. But who do you think came along the road? That's right, oh. Galahad Galavant. Oh, it's a Galahad Galavant. And he looked at the bags and he said, Oh, you, you appear to have made your fortune. I have, said Galahad. I went away and made my fortune. It's gold. It is indeed gold, all gold. Would you like to come and see my boots and inspect my brasses? I would very much like to come to tea and have a look at the state of your roof. However, is that a proposal? Why? Is that an acceptance? It certainly could be. 
And so it was, before the end of the afternoon, they were married. <coughs> and they were pretty happy together, for the girl very wisely said, Throughout all the lands we have, all the trees and all the animals, we always attended to their needs, however small, because you never ever know in this world when you might need to call upon them for your help. Mm -hmm. 